Hello and welcome to WP LMS updates. In the latest 1.8 update, we have added the WP LMS dashboards plugin. So this plugin enables the dashboard feature in the WP LMS site. So after you have upgraded to 1.8, you will see a notification which asks you to install the recommended plugin WP LMS dashboard. So first you need to activate the plugin. So once you have activated the plugin, if you now go to the front end and go to the login panel, you will see a dashboard link. You will see a blank page. So that is because this, the right section in this page is controlled by the sidebar called as instructor sidebar. So if you go to the WP admin appearance and widget section you will see two new sidebars student sidebar and the instructor sidebar since administrator acts as an instructor the the area is the instructor sidebar for administrator so we'll start adding widgets to the instructor so any widget that you add in the instructor sidebar will appear in the instructor dashboard so for dashboard we have created dashboard specific widgets which you can locate in the widget section with the prefix dashboard let's get started so we'll create the instructor sidebar first so there are several widgets which you which you can explore so few widgets are specific to instructors because instructors can create courses and on commissions so currently the commissions is tied up with woocommerce plugin so we'll first set up the simple stats widgets you can also set the width of these widgets so now we have added a simple stats widget which shows the woocommerce earnings for the instructor now if we go and refresh our dashboard page we can see that we have the WooCommerce Commission widget appearing. Similarly, we can add more widgets here. right so after creating these you can add more widgets to the dashboard such as the instructor commissions and instructor statistics So to refresh the instructor stats or the instructor commissions, all you need to do is simply click on the refresh icon and the stats will refresh. Similarly, you can see the statistics for each of the course with the average scores. You can recalculate these stats using the refresh icon. To see the stats of a particular course, you need, simply need to click on the stats. If stats are not ava available, then try reloading the stats. So if the icon turns red, that means there are no stats for the course. Whereas if the icon turns green, which means that the stats were there and 
and you can now easily see the stats so the so the stats for each of the cores will appear like this so the minimum marks and the maximum marks obtained in the course will be automatically be divided into ranges and it will show the number of students which are in each of these range now you can expand the plus icon will expand and show the list of quizzes and assignments each of which for each of which you can see the stats if the stats are available next is the contact widget so you can add the contact form so this is a dynamic contact form widget using which the instructor can contact any of the members in the site so here the user needs to select a user group so as you can see there is one course students so it will automatically show all the students in the instructor's courses and instructor can select the students to whom she wants to send the message then we have an announcements widget so this widget is particularly useful in sending announcement to student in in the courses of of an instructor so you can simply add the limitation here is that the instructor or the administrator can send only one announcement per course so which is shown in the top section of the dashboard which states the number of some announcements on expanding this you can see the announcements for each of the courses which you can mark as red next is the to do tasks widget it's a very simple widget which is very useful for tasks for managing tasks in the site a user can simply create and manage tasks so if we reload our dashboard so you can instructor can simply add tasks by clicking the plus icon and manage the icon based on the severity of the task and to save the tasks only need to click on save button and there is a recent activity widget which shows the activity recent messages you can arrange these widgets and then there is a news widget So the activities widget shows the number of users online. So so you can see the widgets. So to add a news, the instructor needs to click on the add news icon so the news can be created for a particular course which is which is which is selected for every news block and the students in in that particular course will see this news in their news section so likewise you can create and set up the student dashboard so we'll 
log in as a student so likewise we have now set up the student dashboard so for the student dashboard we have student dashboard specific widgets simple stats for students which show the finished courses quizzes assignments and the student statistics wherein you can show the course statistics quiz statistics and the assignment statistics you can also select the type of the chart you want to show for each of the statistics then you have a course progress then the contact form and member news so sometimes the alignment may cause issues so for which we have given a widget called as line break so you can add this widget to avoid to avoid the overlapping of the widgets so that's it from wplms updates thanks for watching